he, he, my husband didn't hear you when you came in, right? We just, we just have to be quiet. This is not our usual to do. Oh my God, just don't let me drop the F-bomb. Um, usually we have all these people around to say, Connie, you can't say that. This is me getting real with you. Hello, America. This is Connie. Big balls bum baloney. Consider this a PSA, you assholes. Do you know what a PSA is? It's a public service announcement. That's what this is today. If my husband ever came down here and saw me with a strange man in the middle of the night in my freaking basement, I think we would have a lot to talk about. Oh God, he's scary. He makes Tony Soprano look like a Care Bear. I've discussed this before back when we had 62 candidates. Normally I just speak off the cuff, but I had to gather all my notes because this is important. I don't know why I'm using this freaking flashlight like it's a goddamn microphone. So he's a huge Trump supporter. But I feel like I'm sleeping with the enemy. You know what I mean? All of our friends and family are Trump supporters. It's, it's sort of weird because I sort of feel like all these people are acting like I've never seen them act before. And they're all saying I feel, you know, empowered now to talk in a way that I never felt like I could really talk about before. And I'm like, well, you know, that's because people don't like to say racist things in public. Even if you think them, you don't say them out loud. And then you don't elect that person for president. Everybody likes to be like, oh, but my best friend is black or Mexican or whatever. Really? Have you you told them eye to eye that you're gonna vote for Donald Trump? Do you have those balls? I don't think so. Thinking about Donald Trump as president makes me want to stick a rocket up my ass and set myself on fire. I don't know if you're getting this so far. Well, first of all, the Pope doesn't like him. All right, we could just end it there. I thought the whole thing was a freaking hoax. If it was an episode of The Apprentice, I would have said it, you're fired. He doesn't know anything. I'm saying to myself, what is he saying? That was a run-on sentence that ran on for six minutes and didn't have a freaking predicate and a subject and I scored very well on the SATs and reading comprehension. What the hell with his hair? He looks like he combed it with a rock. You're a fucking billionaire. I can't believe I just dropped the F-bomb. Don't get me wrong. I, I, I never really liked Hillary, okay? And the people, if you're gonna vote for a third party candidate and you don't think that's a selfish decision, you're wrong. You're a selfish asshole. Get in the game. You're just doing that to make yourself feel better and to make yourself feel like you're an edgy hipster or something. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm gonna order the vegan option instead of beef, all right? That's what it is. Get on board. This is not cute. I wouldn't kind of mind having Bill Clinton be the first man. <laughs> I like that idea. He's adorable. Sometimes I think he might be on drugs. I don't really know why I don't like Hillary. I don't know if it's just all of the media or, you know, maybe I drank the Kool-Aid of not liking the Clintons, but I, I don't really like her. I wish she was a better dresser, but I wish Trump was a better human. God, see, I'm losing my freaking train of thought. My God. What did I want to say about Hillary? I wanted to say something nice about her. Where was it? She wears a damn fine power suit. And she... She's smart, I think. You know, she's been in this game for a long freaking time. And a whole bunch of Republicans and like every Tom, Dick, and Harry who said that they've never voted for a Democrat, they're gonna vote for her. And now let's think about who supports Trump. Vladimir Putin, is that his first name? He's kind of cute shirtless, but beyond that, I don't want to be his friend. Uh, David someone, somebody with the KKK, oh yeah, he's a freaking winner. And then you got King Jong Ping Pong from North Korea. Oh, no, 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 no. If all of these people support you, I think you might want to give it a little bit of pause. I, I, I don't know. I don't know, friends. I don't know. If Donald Trump becomes president, the United States of America is up shit's creek without a paddle. Not just a paddle, a paddle, an arm. You're like a freaking paraplegic or somebody who's an amputee in a goddamn canoe going over the falls. And guess what? Those falls are headed right for a sea of hatred and fascism. I don't actually know what fascism is, but it sounds twisted. You know who has balls? Hillary freaking Clinton. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm saying this. I voted Republican all of my life. I think I need to up my Xanax prescription. My name is Connie Big Balls Bumbaloni, and I'm going to vote for Hillary Clinton. And I don't know. Maybe that makes me a feminist. I never considered myself a feminist because this is what I think of a feminist. I think they have hairy legs, and I think they smell like patchouli.